OK, so the experiment that we're doing is we're going to use an indicator called a hydrogen carbonate indicator. And you can see that this is a lovely red colour. Now, it actually uh, is an indicator of pH. So, while the plant is photosynthesising, this is our equation for photosynthesis, they're using up carbon dioxide. So, unusually, all the other photosynthesis experiments on our YouTube site um, are about oxygen evolution, and unusually this one is about using the carbon dioxide. So the idea is that as the carbon dioxide is used up out of this, this indicator will change colour. Now what's important to remember is that, of course, these algae balls are not just photosynthesising. They're doing two things at once. It's a challenge. They must all be female. Um, they are respiring as well. So when they're respiring, they're actually producing carbon dioxide. So what do we know about carbon dioxide? From uh, your work in, on animal transport, you will know that carbon dioxide is an acidic thing. So it's going to make a low pH, which is going to change the colour of the indicator. So. No, it's not. This isn't rocket science. It's biology. Actually, probably even this bit's probably chemistry, realistically, which is even easier. Um, so, by default, then, if we take away the carbon dioxide, it's going to. Oh, I don't know that I can write increase upside down. Oh yeah, I can. It's going to increase pH, and that's going to change the colour of the indicator. So here we've got our indicator on my lovely little coloured diagram, lifted from SAPS, thank you very much SAPS. And our indicator is going to start off this colour. If the pH goes down, that means that we've made more carbon dioxide, the indicator will go more yellow. So what does that mean? That means more CO2. And if it goes this way, I'm hoping you can hear Miss Carter's emails bingling away, because she's important. We've got less CO2, because we've used it up, and that means that photosynthesis is going faster, and this side means that respiration is going faster. So this is really measuring a sort of carbon dioxide balance. And you probably need to think about what's going on here. If the indicator doesn't change colour, that means these two things are balanced. And we'll talk about that when we look at the results.